Okay, so let's take a look at the needle and the cartridge on this. Uh, really fantastic record player. Hmm. say I've seen something quite like that before. I'm not sure if this is actually two different cartridges. No, it's one cartridge. It's kind of dropped in from above here and then screwed down. There's a lot of dust in there. Oh! Hey, let's get the uh, close-up. Let's get the close-up camera going on this. <coughs> Excuse me. Hmm. certainly don't have that style of needle in my shop anywhere. Looks like it's on a... You pull that right out, straight towards the uh, camera. <coughs> to change it. Now what caught my eye there that I wanted to get this camera is what is going on with these connections? I'm just going to change the focus here. Hang on one sec. It's like a diamond right in the tip. Look at that. Wow. In my past life, I was a uh, corrosion technician and I specialized in the corrosion of electrical wires underground. <laughs> Transformer tanks. And just different things that were underground, and uh, that is really quite something. Very large crystals. I'm sure it's corrosion. You can see the one in the background. In similar condition. I'm sure it's from mixing. Well, that's actually not the background. That's the other side. case is uh, bent open just a little bit at the bottom there, which may have been forced by the corrosion. Holy smokes, now I just get in and clean all that off. <clears throat> it's not of any value. It could be hiding something. Oh, wow. Surprising this worked. I think with that kind of corrosion, the uh, wire would be would have given up the ghost, but... I think that came off really easily, <clears throat> really easily. Let's see what we got now. I don't have enough hands. Huh. 
Look at that. Now, that connector could be packed with that stuff. But uh, we heard it work, so I don't want to fiddle with it. Not sure what that is right there. Where the wire terminates onto the. Yeah, it looks like a clump of solder. That's what it looks like. Yeah, if you look at the one in the back, look at that. Yeah. Okay. I'm not sure I really want it. Let's look at. Yeah. Let's see. We looked at one of these needles. Getting the distance right. Well, there's some information. Pat pending. Wait, I saw some other writing on this too. take it out to get the whole thing. I'm not trying to read the very top line and my hand is shaking too much. Racine, is that what that says? Racine, Wisconsin. Wisconsin, yeah, I think that's what that says. Racine, Wisconsin, United States of America. Patented by the Raleigh. No, what is that? Brush Development Company? Can we that out? No. Let's see. Kind of whispering in your ear there, wasn't I? Because I was leaning right up against the microphone. <laughs> mm, nothing to see on this side. Well, that doesn't really reveal too much. I'm not familiar with that at all. Um, I didn't really see a brand in there. It's just up. It's just out of sight. I can't see it from above. It <sighs> was dastardly people. It's really close. Maybe I can just wedge that a little bit and see something. No, there's no, there's no way I'm going to move that. Okay, well that doesn't help at all. I'd have to really take it right out just to find out what the type is. <sighs> You know, in terms of whether the needle's good or not, um, it would just make sense for me to put a new needle in at this point. And not really worry too much about the condition of that one. And why, what made this fall out? Looks like it's just pushed. There we go. The shop, I'm going to be... Uh, aligning this radio, or at least ch checking the alignment. I think it is probably quite well aligned, as it is. And uh, got my signal generator going, and there's the frequency. I'm just going to connect the output uh, through this capacitor. Mixer tube, 12 BE6. I'm gonna go pin. Let me try pin seven. Okay, there we go. Okay, um, and then I'm 
I'm going to try to monitor the AVC voltage. And we'll have to poke around and try to find that. So let me double check everything here. Make sure we switch to radio. Okay, it's on, but the volume is right down. Started up on uh, restricted power, no problem. Out, put it on full power there. A little overly dramatic on the on switch. Okay, now let's, let's take this down to 455. I'm going to connect the meter here. Okay. Still tangled here. There we go. Okay, so I'm thinking I can get it here. There's a negative voltage right there. So that, that should be the AVC. What I'm doing is I'm just picking it off one of the uh, wires that runs to the antenna. And in many of these radios, the uh, AVC voltage is delivered to the uh, mixer tube via the antenna. Okay, so I'll we'll just clip on there. So tune the radio and fool around with it and make sure it is the AVC voltage. I'll set my meter so, uh, DC negative so it reads the other direction. Here we are. Okay, that's the 5 volt scale. So we're running out around 1 volt and uh, let's tune this. There we are. Excellent. Okay. Now I don't have I don't have any instructions with me. I haven't bothered looking for a schematic uh, for this radio. It's it's a pretty basic radio. Um, so let's start with the first first IF. That would be the, uh, second IF rather. That's this one. using my metal screwdriver here because I like the stiffness. Here we go. I'm watching this meter here. Four fifty. That's good enough. 
Oh my, look at that. Pretty good upswing on that. Let's get that screwdriver engaged. Get my arm out of the way. Okay, here we go. A little more. A little more. Okay, go back up to the top. Very good. Now uh, we'll do the next IF here. Okay, we're engaged. Watching, here we go. Oh my, my, my. This one here. Screwdriver engaged in the slug here. Doesn't seem to want to. There we are. Oh. What happened there? What's going on here? There we are. We got it. Okay. Ready? Not watching the meter. I'm listening to the pitch and the uh, higher sounds that are coming through too. Because I can, it's almost like a tone control. If I turn this just a little back that way, it's as if I've turned down the uh, high frequency response of the radio. Turn it back up. And I go too far, that's no good. So I can just broadening the. Uh, band pass in the radio a little bit. Wow, I got a lot more out of that than I expected. Okay, the next one, I want to switch this around now. Take off the, uh, the signal generator. Or the meter, rather. No, I th I've done the wrong thing. Put the meter back on. Take off the signal generator. <laughs> I did that with the radio tuned into a station. That's not it's uh, not so wise. Now what we're gonna do with the signal generator is uh, I'm gonna feed the uh, loop antenna that I have. The uh, separate loop antenna. loop antenna. Okay, so this, this will be the transmitting antenna, the receiving antenna, the loop is right there. It's this piece right here. Check our dial accuracy first here. So that is set right to 650. So we'll dial up 650. See what we hear. Six thirty. So the dial reads six fifty, but it's actually.
6.30. Okay, so we want to correct that, but first I'm going to check the other end of the dial and see what we're getting into here. So the dial is reading uh, high. Set this on the uh, Oops, I'd say that's 1300. Let's we'll see how that comes out. 1300. Oops. Get a little more power here. Pretty close. I mean, that's that's as accurate as I can read that dial. Okay, so it's really the other end I'm concerned about, though. So we'll go back down to 650. Okay, that's 650. again so that uh, verifies uh, that, uh, that I got it right okay 630 now I want to adjust the oscillator here okay, pretty, pretty sure of the two screws the oscillator will be the one with the, the smaller capacitor the less thins. Maximize the meter here. This is the antenna tuner, I'm pretty sure. Let it out almost all the way there. Okay. Now, why didn't the yellow one uh, vary the oscillator? Why is that? Could be signals too high coming into the radio, so I'll reduce it. That's about as low as a, that's really quite low now, um, according to the ABC voltage. So let me try that again. Six thirty. I want this radio to be on six thirty. That's probably about it. Close enough. That's great. That really tuned it up a lot. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it back into its cabinet. 
I'm going to check this guy out and see what it really sounds like in its box. Okay, I think we're ready to try it out. Now the reason I can receive anything uh, is because I'm using this loop antenna which is connected by these clip leads uh, to an outdoor antenna. One clip lead goes to an outdoor antenna. The other clip lead goes to the uh, ground in my house, the uh, power power ground. And so that puts that outdoor antenna signal. Aha! <laughs> uh -huh. That puts that outdoor antenna signal radiating off this loop here. Okay, but let's try the record player. There's a bit of a hum to it, doesn't it? Waiting at the church. I'm in a nice bit of trouble, I can admit. Somebody with me is at a game. I should for now be a proud and heavy bride. But I still got to keep me single name. I was proposed to by Obadiah Bing. In a very gentlemanly way. Lent him all me money I did. So we could buy the old. And punctually at 12 o'clock today. There was I, awaiting at the church, waiting at the church, waiting at the church. When I found he'd left me in the church, Lord, how it did upset me. All at once, he sent around the note. Here's the very note. This is what he wrote. Can't get a wife to marry you to die. My wife won't let me. 
door what a puzzle that I have made of me. When he used to take me in the park, he used to squeeze me till I was nagging, do I was, and when he kissed me, he used to leave a farm. Each time he met me, he treated me to wine, took me now and then to see the play. Understand me rightly when I say he treated me. It wasn't him, but me, the Duke's to me. There was I, awaiting at the church, awaiting at the church, awaiting at the church. When I found that he'd left me in the church, and all how it did upset me. All at once, he sent around the notes. Here's the very note. This is what he wrote. Can't get a wife to marry you to die. My wife won't let me. Just think of how disappointed I must feel. I'll be going crazy very soon. I've lost me husband, the one I never had. And I dream so about the honeymoon. I'm looking out for another old Badiah. I've already bought the wedding ring. There's all my little powder riddles packed up in the box. Here, absolutely two of everything. But there was I, a white and at the church, a white and at the church, a white and at the church. When I found he left me in the church, how it did not upset me. All at once, he sent around the note. Here's the very note. This is what he wrote. Can't get a wife. Tomorrow used to die. My wife won't let me. There we go. Got a kick out of that. Uh, I did notice that on the uh, louder passages. Um, let me put this up here. The louder passages, there was definitely distortion. So, I have another record to try. This one's a 33. Hi-Fi sound test record, but the record is in terrible shape. chunk out of it so I don't dare let it land there. I'm just going to do it by hand. Yeah. You, hear, you hear the distortion? not very fair to, to, to take a record player like this and put one of these test records on it. This is really meant for a, a high quality modern uh, turntable, cartridge and needle and the like. Yeah, I can't put it on. <laughs> I almost put it here. It would be the end of it, wouldn't it? So it has an area here where there's absolutely no, no grooves. This one here. Uh, the idea is uh, you can uh, set the uh, tracking and improve its uh, correct the anti skate rather. Well, there's no anti skate on this. It's stiff enough. It just it just doesn't move. It's, it's got a, quite a bit of resistance to the back and forth movement. Whereas of course a modern uh, tone arm on a pretty much any better quality turntable is nothing. You do that, you can't feel any resistance back here at all. 
anyway, there it is. So I think I'm happy enough with that. And uh, hey, I got a car full of stuff to work on, so I better put this away and uh, get on to something. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that.